Hey dolls! So before I get into this video, it's hot outside. I'm a, I just got off work. I'm a little bit sweaty and oily and kind of gross. Plus, I have a double ear infection right now, so that is a blast. <laughs> Sounds are like heightened like crazy. I have a massive headache and I just feel a little sucky. <laughs> so those are not favorites of this month, uh, but I am going to be doing a May favorites today. I know I told myself that I would do this every month this year for the year of 2019. This was actually one of my goals. As silly as it may sound, it was my goal to film a monthly favorites every month. So even though I'm I'm sick. I'm still filming for you guys. So, uh, before I get into this video, I wanted to let you guys know that these shirts are still on my merch shop. I will leave the link down below if you want to get your own doll tee. My eyes, the makeup that is on my eyes is from the James Charles X Morphe palette, and my lips we will talk about in a little bit, so just hold out for that. But obviously, my first favorite jumping on in is my hair for this month. Month. I originally didn't really like it, but it has grown on me quite a bit. Right now, it's a little bit of a hot mess. It's been a couple days, few days since I washed it, so it's a little, a little, uh, greasy looking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then I also wore my hair up to work, so I just have it in like this side pony. But as you can see, this is my mermaid unicorn hair. There's still lots and lots of blue in it. And if you want to see the full video on how I dyed my hair and everything, I will link it right here on the screen. At first, this, I I did not like it. I just really, really didn't like it. And then the more I wore it curly, the more I liked it. And a lot of people had asked kind of in the comment section and stuff about seeing it straight. So here's kind of an idea of what it looks like straight. There is a lot more blue in it than I would like and also as mentioned in the other video the purple didn't take as I would have wanted it to but it's growing on me a little bit the more I have it the more open I am to it I guess you could say but anyway so yes I guess my hair does qualify as one of my favorites okay, and then I only have a few other things uh, I have one kind of clothing slash accessory item I posted these on my Instagram and I got lots of questions about where I got these. These are actually some of the Thai like little bug eyed ones, one of the modern day ties, which I'm a 90s kid so I love the old school Thai Beanie Babies so much better than these little peekaboo things. Oh my gosh, I just want them to bring them back because they were just so good. And a couple of these are cute but they're not... They're not the traditional OG ties that I just love so much. So I did actually find these at like a sportswear show store, but I know people have found them at Walmart. I don't know where else you can get these. Please, please, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can let others know or that so others can reference the comments to find out where you can get these. They had so many different little characters, but I decided to get the little gray stripe tabby kitties and these unfortunately are children's sizes I think these are a size oh four six so they're not really like children's sizes but I think this was like the largest size you could get as far as I know so if you have small feet take advantage of this if you like things like this I almost got the husky ones too but I decided just to get the kitties because the husky ones were all blue and I have more things that are pinkish purple, this kind of orchid shade. So I went with this one because I have more things that will match with these, but they are so, so cute. Okay, and then basically all the rest of the stuff that I have is kind of like beauty related. So the first thing is this Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. Now I've used their regular wet skin moisturizer before when you get out of the shower and you just put it on when your body is still dripping wet and it worked awesome. I usually have really bad heat bumps on my legs and when I would use it during the winter it would really help with those. So I fell in love with it and a local store was going out of business and they had this on sale and I was like "Ooh, so it's just like that moisture except it's got a little bit of color to it and I'm like ooh maybe I can replace my tanner with 
this. And I was like, yes, okay, let's do this. Because I am really pale skin. I do not tan in the sun. I just burn like a lobster. And that burn does not turn into a beautiful tan or anything. It just burns, peels off, and then I'm pale white again. I don't know why. I don't know the science behind it, but that's just how my skin works. So I usually always use like a little fake and bake tanner. I don't go to the tanning bed. I don't get a spray tan. I usually just always do it myself. And I was using one of the Banana Boat brand ones, but I found this and this is my new favorite thing on the entire face of the planet. Because because I always find that when I apply these tanners and everything, they're streaky. They're too orange. You know, I I don't want to spend like 40, 50 bucks on like the Saint Tropez one or anything like that. So the banana boat one was working for me for a while. And there was a time where I would actually mix it with some of my lotion. So it would go on a little bit smoother. Or I would apply lotion all over my body first and then apply my tanner. And that's after I've exfoliated and all the prep and everything like that. But I would always get like two orange in spots or I would get streaky. And then I just have to fix it the next day. And it was just a pain. This is so good oh my gosh so this is the fair to medium skin tones one and basically you apply it just like you do their regular lotion you just get out of the shower your body's still dripping wet and you just apply this and it tells you to add like a dime for each yeah a dime size on each arm and a quarter size on each leg and adjust as needed use sparingly around your elbows knees and ankles which is you know a normal tanner all you have to do is you don't even have to stand there and let it dry or anything. You can literally just grab your towel and pat dry and there will be no color transfer on the towel. There will be no color transfer on your clothes. But when you wake up the next morning, you've got this very, very light airbrush on your skin and it's like so like smooth and I've had a couple times where it's been splotchy around my wrists or my ankles, but for the most part, like there's no streaks on my legs there's no streaks down my arms as long as you make sure that everything is coated and you can totally tell a lot better because your body is completely soaked when you are applying it and it does I'll, I'll say this though that like a few hours after you apply it as well as like the following morning it does have kind of that fake and bake tanning smell to it so it does smell like a tanner which is really weird because like out of the bottle it just doesn't have a scent it's just like lotion and it's it's white like it goes on white or clear so you don't even know but like some magic happens and then you have this beautiful tan which you can keep taking showers every day applying this every day you can build it up which is really cool so i love this stuff as you can see i have it on right now it doesn't do a lot but it really i don't know it's just it has like a natural a literal natural glow and you can get this at drugstores all over the place wherever they sell the jergens lotion <sighs> I love it. It says in shower color, no rinse. And you, you literally do. You just apply it after you get out of the shower. You don't rinse it off. You don't wait for it to soak in. Nothing. You just pat dry with your towel and then throw your clothes on and you're good to go. Okay, the next thing I have was actually a sponsored post a little bit ago. This video is not sponsored, but I have genuinely fallen in love with this perfume brand Dossier. I will post the link to the video, the full review video that I did all about this right here on the screen but basically it is a brand that makes affordable versions of high-end perfumes and so this is my favorite one from their website it is the oriental floral one and this is supposed to be the version of uh lancome's la vie as bell or something like that i can't remember exactly how to pronounce it but go watch that video i explain it it is a beautiful scent. I am obsessed with this. I have two other ones that I've been bouncing back and forth between as well. But I always keep going back to this one. It is my favorite. And I will 100% be repurchasing this scent when I run out. Because it is just... It's so good. So again, that is the Oriental Floral one. And that is on the Dossier website. I'll go ahead and link this down below too. Then I just have a three little cosmetic things. The first is actually a lip combo. I caught that. Did you see that or did I not get that in frame? I'm wearing it today. I also did a recent tutorial, not on this exact makeup look, but it was involving this lip combo. So I will also link that on the screen right here. You gotta get all that self promo in to advertise on my other videos, you know? But this is the lip combo I've been loving since I dyed my hair.
it is oh it's such a perfect match unfortunately i don't know if you can even get these anymore i was looking on ColourPop's website last night and i didn't see this as a result when i searched it so maybe you'll have to find it on ebay or something the ColourPop Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Seesaw, and it just looks like so. And then I layer on top Too Faced Clueless. And this is kind of, if you guys are familiar with Unicorn Tears, it has kind of like a blue base to it where it's all sparkly and just like really pretty. This is Clueless, and this is kind of like the sister of Unicorn Tears, and it is pink based so instead of the blue it's more pink and just these two together is just so beautiful I love it so much uh this is I, I don't know if these are available on the Too Faced website anymore I did get mine at Ulta like a year or two ago so maybe you can find them on the Ulta website or at your local store but this lip combo is amazing and I've been loving it. Okay, and the very last thing that I have to talk to you guys about is my eyelash glue. I had been using duo lash glue for so long. I started wearing lashes every single day after I got out of high school pretty much and I have not stopped. <laughs> and I graduated when I was 18 and I'm 26 now so about eight years I would say. So just as long as I've been doing YouTube I've been wearing false lashes almost constantly all the time and ever since I started I always used duo I started with the clear one but then I switched to the black tone or dark tone one because I'm always doing black eyeliner around my eyes I figured why not just get a black eyelash glue also it got to be where I was like getting watery eyes like I was going through a phase where my eyes would water constantly and it wasn't because I had lack of sleep or I was lacking anything in my body, like nutrients or nothing, or I didn't have dry eyes. It wasn't an eye issue. It's just I had watery eyes, and I couldn't get my eyelashes to stay on because, you know, duo, it says waterproof, da 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 da, -da but it's like, it, it's it, they say waterproof, but they don't say cry-proof, so it's like if you're if you're crying if you like it's like your eyes are watery that like resembles tears and it's like the salt in them because they're like salty tears you know it, it just they would just p fall right off just completely fall off or even when I would go swimming in the summer a little drop of water would get on them and they just like start peeling off and I'm just like okay this is not gonna work so I did a little bit of research and I kind of got tricked with an Instagram ad and I caved in and bought the Esquito Companion Eyelash Glue that is raved about all over the internet. I didn't know this really existed until a year ago, I would say. And I kind of just like put it to the side, didn't think about it, didn't worry about it too much. Because I was like, oh, that's probably just a hoax. It's probably not as good as everybody says. But I tried this and oh my gosh, this is like one of the best purchases I have made in a while as far as makeup goes because ever since I started using this eyelash glue I think I've been using it for about five or six months now I used it before my Disneyland trip and I think it was after Christmas that I got it Christmas of 2018 that I got it so it's it's been like half a year since I have started using this and I have only has struggled with watery eyes like three or four times and I seriously feel like it is it has been this that has helped with that so much because it is completely latex free and everything it is so good and I feel like I'm not as wasteful with it because it does come with a little brush so you can really focus the amount of product on the lash band whereas duo it kind of just like oozes out and then oftentimes you find yourself like squeezing out way too much product and then you ruin a pair of your favorite lashes because you got glue all over them and it's just a disaster. If you've used duo lash glue or any other tube lash glue you know exactly where I'm going with this. <laughs> but anyway, this stuff is great. I have also been including a step in my makeup routine before I do my makeup and to help kind of with my watery eyes. Even though I don't deal, I don't suffer from dry eyes or anything like that. At least I never thought I did. But just to be safe, I have been incorporating eye drops into my morning routine every day when I wake up I wash my face and then I will kind of wake up a little bit kind of get 
conscious and then before I start my makeup I will put a couple eye drops just normal traditional eye drops in my eyes and I find that I don't deal with the watery eyes as much and I just use like the cheapy like Walmart store brand ones that are just like a couple dollars you could probably even use the Dollar Tree ones but for me personally that in combination with the eyelash glue has really really helped there are some days where I just skip my eye drops and I still won't have watery eyes so I am convinced that it is the eyelash glue that has helped me so much so if you're someone who uses any other lash glue but this and you wear eyelashes all the time but you always find yourself with watery eyes or crying and they just won't stay on try this <laughs> because even when I have cried with this on because I went to Disneyland during the fireworks and Fantasmic and that stuff I get teary-eyed I get emotional when I go to Disneyland every single time because it's just so special and this time my eyelashes didn't even move and I'm not saying that you can have a whole like cry fest, ugly cry, and they'll stay put. I haven't tested it to those limits just yet. But I have also tested it standing underneath the shower head, and they haven't come off. But I also haven't like tugged at them or pulled them off either. I just kind of like let the water fall on and then let them dry kind of naturally and then see like, okay, what's happening. But I will definitely be testing it this summer if I go swimming and stuff. So I will let you guys know how this holds up during the summer with swimming and everything. But anyway, that is going to wrap it up for my monthly May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't have that much exciting stuff to share with you, but these are just a few things that I've been really, really loving for the month of May. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these products or if you're interested in any of them now or if you've heard of any of them before. And if you're excited, go out and buy them now, especially this. Oh my gosh, get your hands on this. You will love this. It is so good. And yes, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!